All right, Jones, our first question comes, because your inbox is always full. Always. Our first <laughs> question comes from Torin, who asks, what is the best way to clean baseboards? Okay, there's a lot of ways. The best way or <laughs> the, the like, way? easiest way, it may not be the same. Best yeah. way, hands and knees, get right in yeah. there, get the cleaner. Um, but that's not always the way people want to do it. Yeah. So the kind of um, easier, clever way, let's call it, clever way, okay. is take a broom, and you're better off with a broom that's one of these angled type brooms. Yeah. If you have a straight one, it'll still work. I just find those straight, flat, blunt ones are th a little bit thicker, and yes. people's baseboards aren't usually that thick. Uh huh. So grab the broom and take whatever cloth you have, a microfiber cloth. I think by now many of us have those. You could even use an old face cloth, hand towel, sure. whatever you have. Yeah. Okay, and we're going to wrap it around the broom. Okay. Where this is going. Oh, I do And then see where take this is either going. whatever kind of clip you have at home. Yeah. You know, you might have these billy clips or this is like a chip clip. Anything like that. You have fancy chip clips. I do. Mine are all plastic. <laughs> so they break fancy. on fancy. Very nice. And so we're going to clip the corners on yeah. to the broom. Now, we want to make it really, like, taut. Okay. okay? So, because we want the um, the cloth to be able to stick on, like, stick to the do broom. Do you care that there's off. a crease shown up? No, I don't, okay, actually. This you. is just cleaning. Okay, good. <laughs> wait, <laughs> I, wait, I have to fix it. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. So then, you can either start with this damp already. kind of depends on the state of your base. Baseboards, baseboards, how long they, it's been since you've cleaned them. Yeah. Whatever, start with that a little damp, or you can go with your all-purpose cleaner um, and just spray as you go. Yeah. And then all you have to do is run the broom and the cloth across the top That's of so your baseboards. Good. And I find, you know the baseboards that ha are fancy and they've got all yes. the, like, bevels and the edges? Yes. That gets a ton of dust, too. It's going to yes. take care of that, too. Just put it on the different angle and just run it across, and you don't Love have to it. get down on your hands and knees and, it's, and move all the furniture and yes. things like that. That'll take care of that. This is a good one. Yep. I like mm -hmm. that. And good. I like that people ask you everything. Like, it's not just cleaning oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm all over the place. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah. So next question is from Rowena. Uh -huh. I'm having a hard time cleaning sliding door tracks. How do you clean them? Yeah. Those get so gunky. Gross. And it can be, like, just from the um, the air, the stuff that's in the air. Yeah. It can be dead bugs. Dead insects. It can be all yeah. sorts of stuff yeah. ends up in there. And you're right, they are hard to clean because they retain a lot of water too, so you don't want to get in there with a lot of soap and water. Okay, you're going to grab yourself a sponge, whatever sponge you have around. This one has the um, crunchy side on the flip. Yeah. It doesn't have to be. It can just be dollar store sponge because okay. we're actually going to cut it. You take the sponge um, when and push it into the tracks, okay? Okay. And hold it in your tracks for a little minute. And when you lift it up, you're going to see the impression of where all the lines are. Yeah. Okay? Then you're going to grab a Sharpie, yeah, and you're going to draw in those impressions, uh huh, and take a pair of scissors and just cut out. Can you see that? Oh, let me get that. I'm what you're going to cut you. out that? Cut out that. a track. So see where yeah. the black lines are? Yeah. I just cut the one beside it, and that. Oh, okay. So that one's been see? cut. Yeah. Cut, yeah. So you're doing the black lines so you know where to cut. Yeah. And so it makes a mold that will fit directly on top of the tracks yeah. of your sliding doors. Right. And so, oh, I know you're getting it now. That's huh? good. That's <laughs> and good. And so, you, with your damp sponge, you know, your soap or your cleaner or whatever you want to use, yeah. you're going to just rub that along the tracks and it will get right in there. And then keep this sponge. It's usable yes. over and over and over and over. Right. And you've already got your template done. That's so good. Yeah. I, don't, I don't ever want to be this excited about cleaning. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, yes, and then I'll just go home and I'll do this and I'll do that. <laughs> I love that I can get you this yeah, excited about I'm like, cleaning. Yes, yeah, so then I'll clean. Okay, this is from okay. Erica. How do you clean your makeup brushes? I don't okay. do it as often as I should. <laughs> you and I both, sis. Yeah. Do you have a quick way to do it? I sure do. Okay. And it's so easy and it doesn't take anything special. Okay. Any like special kind of tools. Grab your shampoo. Okay. Shampoo, oh, I know. You don't okay. always have to go out and buy all the things. Yeah. So shampoo's great because already you know it's good. It's okay for your skin. It's not making you break out. It's not, you're not having mm. any kind of reaction to it because you're hopefully using the shampoo regularly right. um, <laughs> on your head. And so it basically cleans the hair in your head the same way it's going to clean the hair in your bristles. Right. And so what I do is I do a pump in my hand and I just dip the brush in it just a little bit. Yeah. Dip it in some water, and like you're washing your own hair, yeah. make the sudsy of it. It can be under a running sink, if you're, but although it's better with a bowl so you're not wasting the water. Yeah. Do it until it runs clear, yeah. and then you know all the makeup's gone. Yeah. Give it a rinse. Uh -huh. All you're going to do is squeeze the water out gently like that, Yeah. and to get the final, final water out, give it a couple of taps. See all the water that oh, just flew out good. of that? Tap it a few times against your finger. Yeah. Shape the brush, because we want it to dry 
in the shape it's intended to do mm -hmm. and just get a hand towel and lay it out flat. And the, let it dry overnight? Yeah, the reason why, you don't want to put it in a cup because the water can go in and dissolve the glue in your brush. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, hurt the wood if the, it's made of wood. And then yeah. just lay them all out and they'll dry in no time. Beautiful. Yeah. Nothing like seeing that brush go clean. Like yes. all the brown's yeah. gone. Shona, thank you so much.